Hi, this is Gene at DNS, and this report is current as of Friday the 21st. Things are starting to change quite a bit around town with the cool weather that's finally come in. The water temperatures have cooled down into the low 50s, and the lakes have finished uh, turning over now, so things should start to pick up again, uh, as they usually do after uh, turnover. Up here on Lake Mendota, there is a little bit of walleye action occurring off of Governor's Island, just vertically jigging or even some slow drifting with Lindy rigs off Governor's Island, Fox Bluff area, I've heard of some over by Second Point. Uh, I heard of some off of Maple Bluff even once in a while. A few smallmouth bass mixed in with those, and uh, minnows seem to be the bait of choice right now. Uh, starting to see a few pike show up around the lake. Guys are throwing some bucktails or even some bulldogs, and uh, also some fellas dragging some suckers in the 8-inch uh, range or so. Uh, haven't heard much for panfish action on the lake here, but our local diver says there's been a lot of bluegill and perch in about 20 to 30 feet of water in several areas on the lake. In particular, over in the University Bay area, he noted that he'd been seeing quite a bit of fish over in that area. Over on Lake Monona, musky fishermen continue to be, uh, you know, attacking the lake there. Sucker sales are starting to pick up, although we're having a difficult time getting big suckers. I seem to have no problem getting suckers that are like 11 to 12 inch area, but I'm not having any luck getting any bigger ones. Again, the water temperature over there is in that 50 degree area, and the lake has turned over. Uh, bluegill action, there's some of the sh guys from shore have been having a little bit of luck over in the Triangles, Monona Bay area, off the wall occasionally. It seems like at night they've been getting a few crappies there too. Uh, there's some perch and bluegills using some deeper water in areas like over off Turville Point in the rock pile, 30 to 35 feet of water. Out in front of Hudson Park is typically good for that type of fishing this time of year too. Uh, not very many guys out there, although the guys that do go out seem to uh, the majority of them seem to be catching a few fish. So uh, if you're looking for some action, I would think that you could find some there. Over on Lake Wabisa, again, the musky guys are out in force, and they are having some success on jerk baits and a little bit of sucker action already. Lake Winger's been producing a few uh, muskies too. Uh, again, some suckers. And uh, you can throw any number of, like, uh, the bulldogs seem to be working good. The Lindy or the Little Joes work good this time of the year. And then over on Lake Kiganza, uh, some guys down there catching a few perch and bluegills on some nice size perch, but very sporadic uh, the action is. So nothing you can really put your finger on. A couple of the guys I talked to the fish there say it's different every day. Some days they do pretty good, some days not. The only thing that seems to be uh, that you can count on is that they're going to be somewhere different every time you go. I think that's about it here locally. I've been talking to some guys fishing up on Lake Wisconsin generally catching smaller walleyes, if anything, at the moment. Uh, I'm sure as the water continues to cool, there'll be some bigger fish uh, action starting up there. Uh, really, that's about all I have right now. So if you've got anything, you can call us here at the store. It's 241-4225. If you're on the road and need a fishing report, you can use the uh, recorded phone line, 608-244-3474. That spells big fish. A little easier to remember that, but uh, you can call that anytime. And uh, that's it for right now, guys. Talk to you later.